But as we know with COVID, we could be at a different moment next week. It's just an evolving situation. Hopefully, um, some decisions are going to be made about J&J &J because that's just so much simpler for people to get one shot. Um, but we're just going to have to wait and see. On yeah, that so I think they said today that it will be at least another week for whenever they set their next meeting. So will that kind of impact this? I know that you said earlier this week, it's not really gonna impact the supply so much, I guess probably because we are seeing less demand, but what's gonna to happen to those shots if they kind of get past the point of, I don't know how long they last until they would expire, but, and then do you think that will have a continued impact? Obviously hesitancy then becomes the concern too. So what we're seeing right now is the vaccine, the J and J vaccine that we have on hand does not expire until June, um, and is good in in the proper storage easily past that. So we're not concerned about being able to use it once um, it's freed up again for use. Uh, the other thing that we're seeing is that the federal government is no longer shipping J and J um, until it's been approved and opened up again so what we what we received this past week we've got in the freezer set aside it'll be there until they tell us we can use it again um, what we're seeing for what we will get next week is more Pfizer and Moderna than we had been getting before so we're getting we're, we're not getting any J&J &J next week it's just um, the state is not getting it we're not getting it um, but we are seeing increases in the amount of Pfizer and Moderna that we will get next week. So that means that all of the clinics that have been scheduled and those sorts of things, we're still able to do. We're just going to need to do Pfizer and Moderna, which means we'll have to follow up with secondary clinics um, three and four weeks out for people that need the second shot. So I think the, I think they just updated it and the fully vaccinated rate is at like 18.3 and it's kind of been in that area for a bit. Do you see it going up? And I know we've talked about how the data is not the full picture, but do you see it all still rising or is it not going fast enough for you? Oh, well, this, uh, you know, it's definitely not going fast enough for me. I want everybody vaccinated now, um, obviously, but um, I, I, that'd be good for us, for us, it'd be good for our community, it'd be good for everybody, but um, it is moving in the right direction. We looked this morning, and if you look at all of the vaccination, all of the vaccine that's come into the state, into the county, including the federal programs, for partially vaccinated, we're in the 30s now. So that's great news. We are moving in the right direction. People are getting vaccinated. Um, the clinics that are being held out there are being successful getting vaccine out so we are moving in the right direction um we're just we're just not there yet um and so we need people to continue to pay attention to this and as soon as you have the opportunity to get a shot to take it um that's that's the important message but at the same time you know no vaccines 100 percent, and we're still trying to keep our numbers down in the county so we need people just still wear their mask and socially distance. I know folks are tired. I know, you know, the weather's nice. They want to get out. They want to do whatever um, so that it's normal again. Um, but unfortunately, we're not there yet. So we still need people to, to be careful um, and to use good common sense when they're out of their homes 